This video shows what the input filter patch to JW Player gets you. So uh, JW Player switched from a project called JW Player Module in Drupal 6 to uh, JW, just JW underscore player in Drupal 7. Uh, as part of that, it was completely redone. But what I found was we based a lot of our um, videos and courses off of the uh, JW Player shortcode, which was no longer supported. Uh, so this patch gives you an input filter, which was something that would have been nice to have in the Drupal 6 version, quite honestly. Um, gives you an input filter that you can apply to text fields so that they will uh, render appropriately um, as a JW Player. One thing to keep in mind is make sure that it fires or applies um, prior to the convert URLs to links input filter. Um, because that'll convert things like the location of your file <laughs> into a URL, and, uh, and so it won't work. So make sure that it comes before that. Um, so I have it turned on. And then what I'm going to do is uh, add this page, and we'll see what the output looks like. So I have, you know, this is JW Player shortcode. JW Player preset is just the one that I defined. You don't have to use that. Um, file equals, and then this is just the example into a video file that they always give um, width and height, uh, which you can find. The nice thing is uh, with the JW underscore player is that it provides the defaults uh, for you, where you can set them globally, if you will, and then you could override them on a case by case basis. So that shows that the video is working basically. So uh, it gives you a little more flexibility than just using the uh, file upload field, which is the, the way that. 